this work and the very the first very defined experiments work performed in Washington DC in the main office of Shadow Tori by Professor Price. And the method already mentioned here earlier, uh, developed by them was the method. This is the matrix assisted parcel laser, fast laser evaporation. And this was further uh, expanded by the method direct line. What is the difference between that? The first part you have already heard about. This is actually a laser deposition of organ or biomaterials. In the end, uh, the volatile solvent is simply monitored during this process, and you get a surface covered with the biomaterial, which preferentially can be used as a biocell or, or another tissue surface coating. And I will give you some examples of this. And the second, the direct right method of the method, is done in a way that the laser passes directly through the objective and onto a ribbon of cells or light structures, for example. And this uh, laser beam ablates the top layer of cells or whatever onto the substrate surface. And this can be directly manipulated one direction and form a specific pattern of tissues. The first example here, so let's get back to the, uh, the, 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 the metal, is one that was done by uh, the, the Kaiser laboratory. And here, for example, HRP, Forsadish Ferros, they spots the transfer on the substrate and to demonstrate that it was really working. So a so-called biosensor can be built up, was uh, verified by simply a dot reaction where they have added dot as a donor, uh, as a uh, electron donor for HRP. This resulted in brown and product as a chemical reaction. So the system seemed to work after this procedure. But they the direct right method of the metal is has uh, more interesting features for us. Let's see, as I told you, the, this is the basic system, and by moving the substrate plane, the different pattern can be formed. And after the initial uh, successful stories, we have, for example, Asher Kiyakoli, a very resistant bacterial strain was transferred onto the substrate plate. The different pattern, various patterns could be formed, for example, the logo of the nasal, uh, nasal research laboratory where these people were, was formed by bacteria. Probably in our gas, the Asherichia Coli doesn't form such a nice pattern, but this came the way, actually, for the further successful experiments. People, as you see, were very um, confident they can do the work, so they can successfully transfer cells, but it was a step-by-step -step work because no one wanted to start dealing with the more sensitive cell types. So, <coughs> based upon the uh, very successful experiments by mm -hmm. Professor Kreisig in Washington, um, Professor Hopp started to work with the new method, that's what the alpha leaf method, I will talk about in detail soon. And this involved the transfer of fungi, conidial fungi, which is again very resistant to external stimuli, so you can apply X to bacteria, a number of Pulses, force, because they survive. They survive very well. So the, the system was different here because we had a quartz plate, and the quartz plate was illuminated by the UV beam. And on the quartz plate, there had to be a layer which absorbed the energy. And this layer was evaporated and lifted. And this lift moved the particles, in this case the conidia, the fungal particles, upwards on top a acceptor glass plate. So we had a donor plate, an acceptor plate, and very nice spots of particles, conidia. 
see there are no bad of, of internal and external uh, features which make the cell possible to achieve this strong connection with each other and the environment. And we focus only uh, here on the cell cell adhesions, which are not primarily important for us, but mainly uh, we'll be focusing on the cell ECM adhesions. These, there are two types of these, as you can see here. One are the integrins, and the other are the so-called focal adhesions. The ECM, who may know this better than me, 